Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. We're checking out a new game today, Shrine's Legacy. It is a SNES inspired role playing game. Uh, very interesting. This is a demo of the upcoming game. So let's get in here and to see what it is all about. I'm intrigued. I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Twitter about it. So let's get in here and uh, yeah, see what uh, we're doing. I like the graphics so far. I like the SNES style. That is uh, not the game system that I grew up with, but it was a big part of my childhood. We've lost everything we fought for. Even you are gone, mother. How can I, how, how long can we go on pretending there is hope? How many apologize? Apologies can I make to those who have fallen? And who was I trying to be? I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. I like to do voices. I'm not always the best at it, but I find it fun. Also, wait. So we held strong, even in the greatest, uh, gravest of moments, and we found hope where there could be none. So I want you to do the same. Don't give up, especially on who you are. The hardest thing is when the, the people break and they're talking and do voices, and then you come back with the same voice. I'm not good at that. I'm really not, but I try, and it's fun. So yeah, I like to do voices. Not always the best, but uh, 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 they're off my trail, but I don't know how for how long. I need to hurry. I mean, she's running, so she was probably out of breath. You're real a village. Okay, now if that's not the best post office you've ever seen, <laughs> that that is absolutely amazing uh, design of a post office. So, okay, what do we got here? We got a little guy on a training dummy. I bet that's gonna be me. Oh, of course, we're in an RPG and you got the three dots. <laughs> you would not. Uh, oh shoot, I'm supposed to be meeting Marla at her, right, her house right now. I'll leave the Sword of Shrine here for safekeeping. I'd better mosey. Okay, here we are. It looks like we got a run action, and then we just move. I like the uh, animation, um, and I like his little foof. Uh, his feet go up as he turns uh, when he's running, and that little uh, smoke is kind of funny. That is, I, I do have a stick, it looks like, I can swing. But I really like that little smoke thing and his feet sliding. That's pretty cool. Definitely uh, interesting. Uh, I like the, the graphics. Like I said, SNES was one of my uh, big uh, uh, consoles that it was in my later childhood, but definitely uh, influential. And I haven't played a very many RPGs uh, in my childhood, but definitely the graphics are something. Gems, the jewels. If you have the zool, we have the jewel. Okay. Well, um, that's not where I want to go. I need to find... Mr. Rio, Mr. Rio! Jim, the jewel man hid a jewel and told us we could have it if we found it. Yeah, yeah, and we found it, but it's behind those bags and a big box is in the way. Don't worry, I'll get it for you. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that I could do something. Oh, there we go. Ah, geez. can I get? Oh, there we go. I found the jewel, I got the jewel. You found a jewel, can I give it to the kids? There are chocolate stains on it. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, chocolate stains on the jewel. I got the jewel. Whoa, thanks, Mr. Rio. You're so cool, but you're the one who got it, so you should keep it. Besides, it's got something brown on it. What? No fair. We saw it first. Jim said whoever grabs it gets it, and Mr. Rio grabbed it. Oh, yeah. I guess you can have it. You better use it. All the time though. I got a chocolatey dungeoneer jewel. Awesome. Okay, so I can equip jewels by selecting check jewels at a save point. So it looks like jewels are gonna have some kind of bonus effect. 
for me. Um, not sure. We need to find a Mela. Uh, Mela's house is where we need to be. I'm supposed to be meeting her. Oh, Rio, how are you? I'm good, Sarah. Is Mela around? There we go. Uh, not sure. Why don't you ask Daniel? He's inside. Okay, well, let's go inside and ask Daniel. Uh, where are you, Daniel? Hey, Rio, are you looking for Mela? Yeah, I was supposed to meet her here. Well, you were running behind, so she went off to the spring. Oh, the spring. Thanks, Daniel. No problem. Y'all have fun. Okay, okay, well, let's see if we can find the spring. Where's the spring? You know, you really could have pointed me to the spring. I mean, you are telling me which uh, button to hit. Ooh, there's something back here. Let's go back here and see what I could. I found a treasure chest. You found 15 Zool. I found a goat too. <laughs> a little goat. Oh, okay. It's kind of grayed out. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's frustrating sometimes in games where you're behind stuff and it's hard to see. And I like that outline there. Uh, that's really cool. Makes it uh, uh, much easier to be able to see your character and maybe even fight off enemies uh, if it came down to it. Let's see if the spring is this way. Your old village. Um, I need to meet me. Okay, this isn't the right way. Well, thank you for letting me know. I really do appreciate that. Um, it would be good to, I, you know, I really would know where the spring was. This is the way to the spring. Mela should be here. Awesome. I see. That's kind of nice that it just, I mean, re in reality, he would know where the spring is. So it's kind of cool that like, uh, no, that's not the right way. Uh, yeah, this is the right way. That's kind of cool. Finally showed up, didn't you? I like the artwork too of them, the big characterizations of them. Uh, when they're talk, those are nice. Always impress a lady by never being on time. <laughs> yes. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> Come here, you dork. So we're at a waterfall in a spring. It's been a while since we've been here. Yeah, I know. Can't even recall the last time we stopped by the spring, can you? No. I haven't forgotten how soothing this place is. It's so peaceful. Remember how much we played here as kids? It's funny about how you always wanted to pretend we were using swords and rescuing damsels. I mean, that's what little kids do, right? I mean, little kids rescue damsels in distress. Come on, let's play save the princess. Again? That's what you always want to play. Hey, I've got to train in case the evil Alclor returns. Alclor? Your do dad's stories about him are scary. That's right. Besides, don't you know how manly it is to rescue a princess? Well, it is fun when you're the princess. You're always such a pretty princess, Rio. Ouch! Cut deep, man. Cut deep. Haha. <laughs> You're such a turd. <laughs> that, is, that, is such a, that is such a little kid in, insult, too. You're such a turd. Oh, gosh, that's funny. Come on, let's go play. Oh, that was kind of cool. Little uh, flashback there. Those were good times. They really were. There's something I want to show you. She's got a jewel. A big, or a big, really, really, really big corsage. I made this. What do you think? I, I don't know. What is it? <laughs> oh, a charm. These stones are beautiful, too. Gorgeous and unworthy. Interesting. I wonder if that was supposed to be in his chat box. Um, ah, uh, thanks. It was such a, ch it was a challenge to put together. It's made of lighting, lightning stones from the Hindren marshes. Walter gave them to me last time he was home. The stones are supposed to signify valor and ensure victory in all perils. Only the bravest get to carry your keepsake, eh? That's why I wanted you to have it. Really? She thinks I am brave and need valor or something. Thank you, Mala. I'll always keep it close. Always. I'm glad. You'll need it when you save your princess. Are you not my princess, Mela? Mala? Is it Mala? Would you say that Mela or Mala? Hmm. 
that's the difficulty I have with all the, the games and and the unique words is when they uh, is trying to pronounce them. Um, Rio, what is it? Thank you for coming. It made me very happy. We reminisced. Ah, she's she's uh, thwarting you too. Me too, Mala. Me too. Want to go back now? Let's stay a while longer. Oh, uh, that's a nice little spring too with the waterfall coming down. It's pretty cool. Oh, it looks like, oh, there's no mistaking it. This is the legendary short of a shrine. That is the girl that was running down through the valley at the, you know, not the very first part of the game, but the second scene. So she's broken into my house. It's going to take the sword of shrine. And I wanted to do that. This ice gem must fit into this slot. I don't want you to take it. There. Uh-oh. That did not feel like, I mean, she said it would fit into the slot like she was going to, like, unlock it somehow. Nope, she just broke the glass. <laughs> they surely have found my trail again by now. I need to leave immediately. Uh-oh, somebody's going to catch you. Yo, who's... Hey, what the hell are you doing in my house? My sword! He said a baddie word too. Uh oh. Let's go. She ran that way. Be careful. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find her and kick her little booty. So, uh, let's see. I want to see something. Yeah, so actually, you just have to hit the run button. You don't have to hold the run button in. So, as long as he's, you know, hit that button, then you can let it up. And then he'll continue to run. Uh, interesting mechanic. Let's see if we can chase her down. I keep on seeing her just out of my sight. But when you hit something, you do stop running. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. There we go. Uh-oh, that looks like a buggy bug. That's not good. No, why won't the gym respond? It can't cast magic through the sword? Hey, thief. Oh, snap. I'm gonna take that little bug out. You shouldn't smack women around like that. What's? I got the sword now and it froze it. The ice gem, it reacted. Hurry and finish off the monster while it's frozen. I'm trying, eh, eh, kill it. <laughs> Thanks. Shut it. Yeah, you stole my sword. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, that's a uh, very, um, uh, apropos response to someone still, you know, it's usually like, oh, it's okay. Can I help you up? No, you know, you stole my, you broke into my house and stole my sword. I'm going to like threaten you. There's no time to explain. I need your help and help after what you've done. And tell me where you got this gemstone. Did you steal it too? No, I, that, that is not important. Please hear me out. I guess I could allow her to talk. I mean, we really don't, you know, she stole my sword. It's not a capital crime, I would say. So let, let her, let her talk. And then we'll, then we'll see about putting her in prison. My name is Riema. I am in need of the only weapon capable of felling Alcor. He has returned and I want revenge on him. Alcor, the demon my ancestor defeated long ago. Yes. Uh Oh, we're going to help. Of course, we're going to help. I mean, this is insane. Alcor can't have returned. Can't. You have to be lying. I saw him with my own two eyes and could do nothing. Even the sword is useless in my hands. But you are of the shrine lineage. You can wield the sword of shrine to destroy Alcor. Aklor, not Alcor. Alcor is a completely different character. Aklor. It is your family's sworn duty. Well, I guess we are, uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Perfect response, too. Another real true response. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Uh, I'm not going to do that. You, you imbecile. Do you not comprehend what will happen when Aklor returned to power? You have no right to insult me. I'm going back home. Wait, 
Listen, Aklor and his minions, they are coming. What? Aklor followed me. He knows the short sword of shrine is here. I tried losing him, but could not. The expressions change a little bit on their images while they talk as well, which I like is pretty cool. Mala, Mala, everyone. Uh, she tried. I'm not sure you know, how hard she tried, but she tried. There's his minions. They look like little robots. Robot cats, kind of. Is <laughs> what they look like to me. Oh no, there he is. Who do you have captured? It's just some nerdy guy with a with a green shirt. He's devastating. Gather the rest. Uh oh. Yeah, that guy is really, really th big threat right there. Mom, Dad, oh sweetie, there are demons attacking the town. We have to leave now. What are you now? Uh oh. Are they going to escape? I have a feeling that yeah, they're not going to escape. I'm just about to say that. Yeah, that's kind of not good at all. So the whole town's going to be rounded up, except for me, probably, um, and her. Is that? Where is the sword of shrine? Yeah, I mean, he has to have an ominous voice, right? Deep ominous voice. He's the BBEG. Tell me where the keeper of the blade hides, you worthless inferiors. I've heard of you, demon. We won't tell you anything. Uh oh, she's going down. Yep. Oh no. Looks like she has some kind of uh, force chokehold on her. Put her down. That sword. Also, the running right, port out the really nice thing, kind of to show to help show that she's in the air. She has a shadow, which is a kind of neat effect. Um, otherwise, if you would raise this, because probably what just happened is she raised the sprite up um, to make her float. But then if her shadow uh, is not there, she just looks like she's vertically back in the uh, on the world. Uh, but that showed, shadow is a nice little effect to make her look like she's flo floating. Oof. Mela. Uh-oh. There we go. That girl's going to help out you. If you want to protect the girl, run. There's nothing out Aklor wants more than the sword. Run and he's gonna chase us. Yep, after them. Don't let the sword out of your sight. Yep, that's what I was expecting. Uh, he's gonna leave the village and, and uh, chase us. This is an interesting beginning, let's go. Where are we going here now? I have uh, Rima now, but I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> we haven't really gotten to a battle yet, so I'm... Use your ice magic. Um, be to cast. There we go. Freeze them. Casting magic consumes MP, magic power. Attacking enemy resources your magic power, unless the enemy is currently frozen by an ice spell. Interesting. Defe so I have to attack an active creature, an active enemy, to be able to get my magic points back. Defeat enemies to gain experience, which fills the orange bar under your HP. When the bar fills up, you can earn a level up okay the orange ball okay what's my attack button <laughs> boom come on eh, eh, eh. kill it oh so it's ooh, discover new material blue jelly so it looks like it's almost like a um action it's in a um not turn-based action i think action rpg is the term that's used but it's we're both used independently which is weird this way I know somewhere they won't follow us. So she's kind of like just works on her own to attack. No, she does it. She attacks, I think. Okay, I'm not sure how she attacks, but there's definitely an attacking from her as well. I think that she attacks maybe when the enemy is close. It's hard to tell, um, but... I'm intrigued about how she's, I don't control her. 
she controls herself so it's almost like um i don't know another companion or something that um the you know, like the uh, has an ai to it we'll climb down and lose them okay well we could do that let's let's go hurry before they catch up come on girl you're the one that wanted to run away from them so why can't they climb down that's going to be the interesting or they just didn't know that the well, I guess if they're looking over the cliff, they wouldn't know that the handholds were there. Um, so he had to know and look over. They must have gone towards the forest. Okay. Hmm. Heir to the Shrine Legacy. Your mortal body will be shattered before this is over. Interesting. Ooh. We're on a nice little beach. That's kind of cool. I like it. She's down and... I'm very interesting. I don't see a lot of... Oh, now I'm her. Ooh, I like this. This is interesting. She has a different weapon than he does. He has a sword. It appears that she has some kind of maybe bow or something. Not like an arrow, but like a staff or a um, um, a quarter staff or something like that is what it looks like to me, but I'm not sure. I like that we're switching characters. That's kind of cool. Let's go out into the water. Can I swim? I'm intrigued here about what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, just go close enough to him. If we switch back and forth, that'd be a very interesting mechanic. And maybe that was a good way to show it off is that, uh, you know, we come down there, you flip their characters, and then immediately you want to move when the cut scheme ends and you're going to move her, Rima. So now you know you're going to be switching back and forth between characters. And that's going to be fun, actually, I think. Listen, Aklor will not stop hunting you until the sword is destroyed. You should. I need to get back to Ural and check on Mala. That's your damsel in distress, boy. Come on. Have you been paying attention? If you stay at that village, he will hurt more people. I have, I have to know she's safe. Listen to me. If you go back now, you will be putting her in danger. You can lose her forever. Is that what you want? No. What do we do now? We run and hide. <laughs> we go on an epic quest to get experience so we can kill Atklor. Okay. I know, I have an idea. My mother, she lives alone on the outskirts. Aklor was heading that way. Wait. You can make sure your mother is safe, but it is dangerous to stay for long. I will accompany you, you Shrine. Shrine's not my name, but okay. You can call me Rio. Oh, I guess Shrine is my last name, which is interesting. It's not what I expected, but Shrine Legacy it's the Shrine's family legacy. And there's that guy again that we know, that hooded figure from the very beginning. I'm curious as to what he has. There we go, Shrine's legacy. That was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, I hope we got more gameplay to go. Okay, there we go. I was a little worried there for a second. Oh, you can now play as both Rio and Rima and two player mode is unlocked. Okay, so I could actually, I guess it could be like a co-op kind of thing. Uh, set up configured two player in the menu to enjoy the adventure with a friend. If a character's HP reaches zero, you can rescue them with the action button. But if both are down, it will be game over. There are no auto saves, so be sure to save often. Okay, well that's kind of cool. So I could just why? So it's not a force switch. I could switch when I want to switch, which is really cool. I like that. Um, how do I save? I would really like right now to know how to save. Oh, I did something. Okay, I also like that the character on the left at the top is who is you who you are. So that's kind of cool. Um, definitely uh, green jelly. So we discovered green jelly. Um, X is the run button. Y is the switch button. A is the attack button and B is my uh, magic button. Oh, I found some more. Uh, that's kind of cool. We got a little bit of experience there. Uh, let's see if we, what else. I didn't know we could cut the grass. It's an RPG. We have to be able to cut the grass. If we could find out where our mother is. I like that she runs when I do, which is kind of cool. So I want to 
like restore my magic points because I accidentally used them before. She does not seem to want attack when I'm not attacking, which is interesting. Um, the other per the other character seems to not attack unless I am attacking, even if it's going to hit me. So that's very interesting that the secondary character will only auto attack if I'm attacking is what it seems like. I want to freeze this one or try to. There we go. Can I hit it? Oh, yeah. Well, it would only have helped really if I got close enough to swing my sword at it. There we go. A little... The hitboxes are a little odd. Um, or not odd, I guess. I just don't know what they are yet is the uh, difficulty. I'm going back behind the trees for some reason. I'm not sure why. I need to find my mother's house, I guess, is the... Uh, oh, we got another bug up there. These little bugs are cute and like in a devastating uh, way. So we've got material. So having material makes me think that um, there's going to be some kind of crafting in it in the game, but I don't know that. I'm curious. That would be kind of cool if there was some kind of crafting element to it. Um, but we just got to go and find, um, you know, my mother's house right now. I would like to see... I want to try and switch her out and see if we can attack a little bit with her. Um, her weapon is slower, definitely slower than his, but typically in RPGs, a slower weapon is off, also more devastating. Uh, but no, hers does a tube damage. Now, does she have the magic as well? She does. Yeah, so she got frozen magic as well, it looks like. It was blue, so I'm going to assume that it was frozen. Um... I'm going to assume that's also my mother's house. This is the place. Open. Uh-oh, she's not here. Mom! Mom, where are you? Oh, there she is. Phew! Rio! Oh, Rio, thank heavens. Get down here, quickly. Oh, she's in her safe spot. Run! Oh, well, maybe we should be Rio if <laughs> we're going to be talking to my mother. Yeah, she's in her little safe hidey ho. Mom, are you okay? I, a group of monsters passed through not moments before, and I hid down here. It sounded like they were searching for something. I've been so terrified. Rio, who is this? This is Rima Narone. We uh, met just before the monsters attacked. I see. Can you tell me what's happening out there? There was an attack on your old village. Those monsters you saw were responsible. And they were seeking to destroy the Sword of Shrine. Oh no. You don't mean. Yeah. Aklor. Well, if it's my mother, she's part of the lineage. She would know um, the whole idea. Was, was anyone hurt? Everyone is fine. Mala, she's... Yeah, I think there's some... Yeah, it's... It's a demo, so I expect some bugs, but it looks like there's some uh, bugs in the, the uh, dialogue there. Thank goodness. Mom, I came to tell you what that we're going to stop him. I've made up my mind. He attacked Mala, and... You said no one was a hut. I think she's okay. We managed to draw Aklor away. Mom, would you check on Mala for me when it's safe? Tell her what I'm doing. Of course. But without the gemstones, how could you possibly stand against the demon? We're going to have to go find the gemstones. We have a gemstone. We do. We have a blue one. Oh, so look, we got... Wait, wait, hold on. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Stop spinning. Six, seven, eight. Eight gemstones. Uh, for eight worlds, we've got the blue one I'm assuming is the one we bought, got because it is frozen. The Sword of Shrine was crafted to be infused with eight elemental gemstones. Hey, I should have just read. Which were scattered about by Aklor long ago. Reuniting all eight gemstones would yield power to end the demon. 
that's how we're going to do it then. Well, we'll find the rest of the gems to take down that monster. So we got we got one. We need to find seven other ones. So I'm going to say seven other world, seven dungeons or other worlds or something that we're going to have to do. Mom, did Dad ever say anything about the location of these gems? Your father never mentioned anything about their whereabouts. Hmm, she's kind of sad. It's okay. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. Don't worry. I'll come home safe. Promise. I don't know if you can promise that, but eh. I am playing, so I could just reload every time you die, so you do come home safe. Then you remember that promise, Rio Shrine. Remember it very well. Mom... And you, Rima, I'm counting on you to look after my son. I will watch his back. She won't need to look after me. I can take care of myself. <laughs> Such a strong-headed boy. You do the same for her. Look out for each other. I love you, son. Aww. I love you, too. I'm, I've messed up those names or those voices I don't know how many times. We're heading to... Calico Forest out of one of the gemstones should be located there. So you arrived with a gemstone and even know where another one is? Not to mention your knowledge about my ancestry? Care to explain how you know all this? I obtained the information from a source. A source? Yes, a reliable one. Now let's stop wasting time and get to Calico Forest. Hmm, I'm suspicious. Fine, let's go. Yeah, we I was not doing very good on the voicing there, but it's still fun to do voicing, and I will try my best as we go through, this, through the game. I will probably tell you that the voices will change dramatically every time I do them. Just a heads up, just a fair warning. Um, I would like to know how to save. That's the kind of the whoa. Um, yeah, yeah, get, get away. Here we go. I did not expect that. Oh, we can't. <laughs> we got to open it. We got to come around to the uh, the correct sign. I found some more green jelly and some more money. We got 30 of these little Jimmy things. There has to be a save point somewhere. I, eh, that tree looks very... That one in the top right looks diseased. The gem is most likely in the heart of the forest. We should be wary of monsters along the way. Hey, if Aklor passed by mom's house, he is probably nearby. Be cautious. He's going to be somebody that dogs us this whole time, isn't he? Like we're going to be able to barely escape from him several times throughout the game or something like that. Freeze him. Aha. I froze you. Oh, it looks like a lava has come down through here. I hope that's not gonna is it gonna hurt us? Oh, uh, that's kind of creepy and yucky. I don't like that. I don't like walking through red water. Ooh, what's that? Oh, okay. That was kind of interesting. Did those spikes thorns hurt me? Yes, thorns hurt. That's an interesting thing. Uh, I need a safe spot. Please give me a safe spot somewhere soon. Oh gosh, what in the world? What does this say? I've placed statues like these around during my travels to help magic users like myself get through the world. There's nothing more frustrating than running out of magic while trying to find a way past obstacles. So strike these when you need to refill your magic points. Sigum. Okay. Well, curious as to what, how I'm supposed to do this. Can I freeze them? I'm not sure that really helped. Okay, that kind of that. Okay. Oh, okay. That kind of is interesting. Can I run by that one? There we go. Really, really could use some uh, save spot. I would really like that game. Oh, these are going to show. Now, can I hit them? Oh, I can't attack them and kill them. That's good to know. I got to be careful because if I run into those spiky vines, then... Uh, that hurts me. I still can't. Inventory status. We're both level one. I'm just kind of interested to try to figure out. But I still, no, I don't want to lose my 
Here's my inventory. We got one jewel key items. We got one jewel. We got some materials, no potions. Map. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, what's that F S back there for? Let's see if we can go back there and see what that S is. We're running out of time. We definitely went over a little bit, actually. Um, I did not want to restart or switch my characters. Um, so maybe I just passed it. Maybe the safe spot is over here. Is this the safe spot? I need a key. Um, oh, maybe these are the safe spots. Okay, I'll get rid of you. Can I attack you? Here we go. What is that doing? It's doing something scary. It like freed something up. Okay, yeah, I broke something out. There we go. Oh, I could hit that. So I could hit their uh, uh, material orb thingy and destroy it and it won't hit me. That's kind of good to know. So it lets me go out now and get through there. There we go. This, I bet you, is the safe spots. Yeah, your health was restored. Would you like to save your progress? I would. Yes, I would. Your progress was saved. There we go. I think we're going to end it here, there. That is a nice spot to end. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. I'm having fun on this. It's kind of interesting. We'll explore the story some more. Now, I'll see you then. Bye, everybody.